Welcome to Kitty Place Morrowind. The last thing we did was to help this nice fella get to Coal Cave. You're very welcome, sir. And also one thing that you might possibly notice from time to time, I do have the frames per second counter on the top left corner on all the time. You might notice that the frame rate doesn't drop so low anymore. I got a new graphics card mainly to be able to play Half-Life Alex, but it also impacts the performance of this game a bit. And um, the game engine is so old that it can't handle the high resolution and the high definition textures so well. So this is why we have texture drops with a, uh, not texture drops, frame drops with a so old game. Okay, so the thing that we're doing is we are planning to get over here by boat, but before that I am curious if I can do a little que other quest first, because in my notes I have, I have written fish out the ring from the pond north of Gnesis, and if I remember correctly this is the quest where I help a nice lady, or a seemingly nice lady, to fish out her ring from the pond. There it is loading the area, this is new. Okay, there you go. And once I do so, she says no good deed goes unpunished and tries to kill me. Of course I could also just go and rest first. Nope, resting here is illegal. I'm already in the city boundaries. Well then, let's just get over on the other side. Hmm. Here's Mr. No Pants in the water because he's so ashamed that he doesn't have his pants. But we are still unable to charm his frenemy, so he will give the pants back. So we're going to leave him in the water. So much for lesser frame drops. It was worse before, I'm pretty sure of that because I ran to Balmora and didn't get the drop to 8 frames. So we do have a slightly better performance here. So north of Gnesis, which means I have to leave the town. Well, on the other hand, I didn't see a boat here anyway, so... Let me switch over to the local map. I'm following this road here. A Nyx Hound. And there we go. Just leave it there. And as soon as I can rest, so we're going to head towards Al Velothi. Velothi, Velothi, whatever. We're going to go there. And then... There's lots of enemies here now. They're piling up. And they're very strong. Let me really quick check if I have a health potion. I did not... Imagine that I would encounter that strong enemies. And it's just a regular Kwama Frogger. Hmm. Can I rest here? I can already rest. Perfect. There we go. That's the Guar Trail. And we are heading further to Alt Velothi. There should be some kind of pond here according to my notes. I hope it's not too far away. Because else we will have to travel a long distance, which I don't intend to. I do intend to focus on the actual quest. But honestly, I don't remember where that bond was. But I'm also going to get to Alt Velothi. I'm going to call it Alt Velothi 
if we end up there first, I just wrote north, north of Knesis. Going to check the map every now and then to see if I can actually see the pond already. If we end up there first, we're going to check if we can find a boat to the island. Not going to record many episodes today. For those watching the live stream, because my voice is getting a bit worse. More on that later after the episode. There, this is where we are. So I'm going to save and talk to her. Hello, Sinet Jilly. I, I think if I yes, there, there he is. I can even, I can see him if I, you know that he is there. Those two are going to attack me once I get the ring. <clears throat> ah, hello there. I was hoping a handsome young gentleman like yourself could happen by. Might you take a moment to help a lady in distress? Oh, you don't look so much in distress, ma'am. I simply must get my ring back. Your ring? What about that ring? Ah, yeah, I think she already told us that it fell into the pond here. So let's ready the shield. You are very bad at casting the shield spell. That's, that's for sure. And get the ring. No good deed goes unpunished, Outlander. That was perfect. Really, really perfect. We managed to throw our spell right against the rock. Well, let's get out of the way of these. And we failed casting the spell after we replenished our magicka. This is going perfect. Really. We are the best mage in the galaxy. Restore health. Uh, And that's the problem. They have very, very strong damaging. I can this 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 just went bad. I'm going to try again. Um, I don't even have a restore health potion anymore. Only the exclusive restore health. Well, I'm going to yeah, just. Just use them, you know. Yeah, that was the wrong button. I am still used to playing a different game where you open the inventory with the Q button. Yes, I did not do much because I knew that we were failing. Let me try. I just want to try if we can actually fight them well. Let's not do the shield, but instead just do the spark thing. So we get the ring. <sighs> of course I failed casting the spell, and I'm going to quick load. For some reason, only one hand is in a gauntlet right now. Let me first check out what's what's up with my... I have a right gauntlet, but not a left gauntlet, which is pretty weird. I need to check my gear when we get somewhere where we can buy more gear. Anywho, Spark 3. That was... Idiocy. Load. Quick save. Yes. I am sorry for that. That you have to endure my stupidity. I know why we fail. Why we fail. Let me real quick recharge my endurance or fatigue or whatever. There we go. Our spell chance is so low because we are fatigued. That solves the riddle. 
I am so sorry. You see, I was playing Subnautica and there you, the use keys, the left mouse button, which I have now internalized. No good deed goes unpunished, Outlander. At least one of them is down. Rising Force, Restore Magicka, there we go. You can actually dodge those. And now we need to kill her the old-fashioned way, if that actually works. So she stuns us with every blow that she deals, so we can't actually hit her, which is not a good thing, and we're dead. Okay, another different strategy. I'm going to kill her first. Try going to try to kill her first, that is. Because she's more dangerous than that other guy. Ooh, that worked perfectly. Killed both at the same time. And there we go. Let's just take everything. Oh, it was two girls, actually. I didn't know that the... I didn't remember that the other person was a girl. Ah, so it was poison damage. Okay, now let's see. We have... A right gauntlet, and we're going to put on the left, the fitting left gauntlet. I'm going to throw away that one. You know what? I'm going to put the stuff on her again. A gun shirt. We don't need that. You can have that back. <clears throat> you can have the shoes back and the skirt. You know, you don't need to lie there naked. Expensive pants. These, these we're going to sell. These are not much, not worth much. I'm not going to wear any hel helmets. Left bracer, do I wear left bracers? I think I don't because you see them through. Ah, those are, bracers are for the arm. I thought those were, I, I mixed up the, the English words bracers and pauldrons. So you can have those back. We're of course going to keep the ring, cheating chitin, I guess, cheating chitin, greaves, uh, I think we don't wear anything there in that slot, don't we, boots, and this has armor rating 4, armor rating 2. So we could increase our armor rating a bit. And this casts poison effect. And has 4 to 8, 5 to 8. Um, okay, I'm going to give you this. Oh, you know what? This has a value of... Actually, we have, we can now do the rest of the stuff with a trader. First of all, I'm going to do a quick, drop a quick save, and going to real quick check that off my list. There we go. I need to drink something more. Okay, so we are heading to Albalothi in the hopes that there is a trader and that we can take a boat to Dagenfell there. Aren't pretty fast anymore. Can we rest until healed? Please. Yes. That sounded like we just took off a ring or something. That's weird. Anywho, let's head to 
Hello, Luffy, as I was saying multiple times now. And we are currently running. We definitely need to increase our running speed. Okay, I think we can hit you from back here. If you don't move out of the way. That is a direct hit. I failed to gather something useful, that's not bad. I just wanted to train my alchemy skill by collecting resources. There you go. And let's heal. And we already see Alvalofi in the distance. It will take a little while until I get accustomed to that, uh, to these controls. I think I should. This time it was it was actually on purpose. I think I should do this, so I don't accidentally cast a spell, and I don't want to. Okay, we ignore the red corpse and head to the trading outpost. Gathering some stone flower in the, on the way, hoping that the flying pest won't notice us. And there is the traitor. A uh, traitor. <laughs> that was actually not on purpose. Hello, Orero. I'm in Elbalothi. What I want is I want to trade with you. Thank you very much. Do you also trade in armor? Yes, you do. What this amulet? You don't want the amulet. Neither the ring nor the designer shoes, which can cast light. Okay, so you don't want most of the things that I'm that I have. Well, then can you at least repair the stuff that I have? Yes, she can. I'm going to check inside if there is someone who is willing to trade with me. Hello, good sir. I want to trade. You're sort of the headman of Al Belovi. So, who are you exactly? Oh, some words should should be shared only by friends. Okay, so there is something to that person. You're looking for a tavern. And I'm going to mm -mm -mm. make a real quick note. Al Velofi, north of Mises. Headman. Charm. Headman to get a quest. I guess this is what will happen. Okay, let's get downstairs then. This is a trading outpost after all, so there should be some traders in here. I suppose Are you a trader? I'm sure I can. At least she barters, but she doesn't have any money. Oh, she has. She has 75. She buys, okay, she buys ingredients. Hold on, let's get her ingredients. This is Restore Fatigue. I want to keep that to make Fatigue Restoration Potions. Let me see real quick. Uh, that's not interesting to me. How about that? Refused. Let me put some trauma root on top of that. Ooh, these are expensive. Look, I'm even giving you a bargain here. There we go. You should like me a bit more now. Why don't these people like me? Okay, let's see if there are more traders in here. 
Ma'am, I want to barter with you. Do you have something to trade? No, you don't. What can you train me with? Destruction, mysticism and alteration. I'm sorry. I'm actually pretty good with these already. Let's see upstairs. Uh, Hello, Sedam O'Malley. Wow. What do you... Oh, I trade with everything. That's awesome because I've got an expensive ring for you. And some pants and a belt. And some other jewelry that I'm not interested in. Honestly, I... Uh, I need to check which of these two skills is more interesting for me. I'm going to... Those there, those soul gems, I don't need. He only has 400 gold, so I need to... Um, let's check... Um, 400 gold, okay. Let's see... There we go, can you go up to 390, please? Yes, thank you very much. So we have a lot. So let's do ourselves some restoration potions. We do know the uh, fatigue, I'm sorry. Yeah, restoration potions. There we go. Push cushion fitted. I should have first upped my endurance, I think. The chance to do the potion also goes down with low endurance. Well, anyhow. Let's take a look in that little, that nice little town here. And we'll see if there's anyone willing to trade. I think we checked that before already. But I can't remember. What about you, man? With your good looking attire? So she does not have anything for us. There's someone on the boat who can... Nope. Nope. One up here. So there are... It seems there are no travel services here. Which is bad. Well, sad rather, not bad. Okay. I think this was the shack of that uh, guy who sent us into the ruins. Hmm. 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 Ah, I can ask her about the Telden Wirth guy. Nothing too special about here. <clears throat> so, what I think think we should do is just follow the coastline and see if we find a place that offers some services that we can use. And honestly I think I will not record even a second episode because I notice my voice is failing. Well, you folks on YouTube won't notice that because the next episode will, of course, follow as scheduled. But the nice people on Twitch, they will be really sad. I'm not going to go here. Let me real quick. Just head over here. And at least get to somewhere around here. The next place. I 
yeah, we should really invest some of our training time into more speed. You're really slow. There we go. Sorry that I'm trying not to talk that much. Because of my voice. And let's head to the north until we hit the shore. And then I would call it a day. And I'm sorry to everyone who just turned on to the Twitch stream a few minutes ago that it ends already, but as you can hear. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, just a rat. Okay. Well, it was diseased. We could have caught a disease. Anywho. We already disposed of those fellas here. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it will attack, so I'm going to do a preemptive strike. But I think the Kwama workers should be um, non hostile. But that's an I think and a should. That one. And rest. Up. And enter the next settlement. And this one even has a Silstrider service, which means now I have a new place that we can travel to. So where is this place? Why is here a Silstrider? I don't see any town or something. These are the docks of Cool, and he's the shipmaster. I manage all the seagoing traffic here. Tell me your destination. If you're outward bound or if you're new to Cool, I can steer you to the local services or to a specific place in Cool. If you're looking for someone in particular, I might be able to help. Well, I'm, I'm looking for, I'm looking for services. Yeah, I want to sell. You're out of luck. Thonger rents beds and sell you some food and sundries. But if you need anything else, you might try the Alpha Lothi Red Orange outpost down up the coast to the west. They have a smith and a trader. And a little shrine. Oh, well. Where can I go from here? Oh, the Silstrider can carry from Kul to Aldruin, Margan, and Gnesis. Okay. So we can now. I now unlocked the Silstrider service in Kul. Which, of course, is a restriction I placed upon myself for everyone who is new to this Let's Play. I am not going to quick travel to a place that I haven't visited manually yet. And now I have cool on my map, which means I'm going to use the services to go there. The only exception is when it's like story, 
it fits into the story and over here swimming over to here doesn't make sense I should drown so I'm going to of course take a boat which I might be able to do here so if we can take a boat I'm going to go to Dagonfell and check out what there is there before we head to the ruin oh 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 a Khajiit friend hello friend what is your name it's so good to see a fellow Khajiiti face here. Do you... Is this your ship? Oh, you will gladly take me to for Frostmoss in Solstheim. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't want to go there. But can you can you take me somewhere else, please? No, only to... I'm sorry. I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm going to definitely go come back to you. Because you're a, you're a fellow Khajiiti. I need to support my fellow Khajiiti. Didn't know that they can close their eyelids. That was awesome. Yeah, I want to go to Dagonfell. Oh, thank you very much. I was looking for a boat, for a ferry to take me over to Dagonfell for so long. I'm so happy to finally have found one. Can you please take me over? I'm even going to pay you, the ferry woman, before you take me to the other side. And there we go, folks, taking the ferry to Dagonfell, which is the place we wanted to go all the time. Well, let's just check that's an imperial place, judging from the guards. Let's talk to one of them. Hello, sir. Do you know anything about... No. You don't know anything about any services here. Okay, someone's house, someone's house, eat her the gentle. Sir, do you know anything about the services over here? Frevenhild is a traitor. Yodra, the peacock, also at the end of the word, is a pawnbroker. He buys and sells many things. Uh, we don't have a smith or a healer. Oh, thank you, I do need traders, most of all. A neat building. I bet this is the trade house. Okay, this shack door doesn't lead into a significant place. The end of the world. Perfect. Ah, Yotra. So good to see you. I am planning. I am planning to buy something from you. Or rather, sell, that is. See, I have this fine. This fine blade. Well done. I don't have the. They have these fine shoes for you. Restore fatigue, which is good. Restore willpower. I'm going to sell all these off. Restore luck also. Resist poison, drain magicka. Goodbye. There we go. I can't carry much with all of these things around. Well, that is it. Silver flame blade. Hmm. Okay, okay, I'm going to throw a little bar in here. There we go. So we now lightened the load a little bit. And with that, I would say, let us end the episode here. And I'm going to continue recording tomorrow when my voice has recovered a bit. Disgusting. I'm sorry. I know I should shower. And with that, I bid you farewell and let the dice decide when the next episode will air. Bye-bye. <laughs>